Berlin radio days when I had to talk soccer for like two or three hours at a time. <laughs> I give you a lot of credit for even trying to do that. Giles with a flush. Well, you can see why I'm here. <laughs> Ennis missed a free throw with 129 remaining in the first quarter on Saturday, and it looked like it went through. They gave him credit for it eventually, and then saw the mistake after the game and took it away. So he closing in on the eight-minute mark in the first quarter. Yeah, Giles, nice size, 6'10", 240. But not enough beef to deal with Brook down low. That's Harrison Barnes, his first two in the game. He wasted up the Who other night in Orlando. What was he like, Number five for five from there. behind the arc in that game? He's made his last six now. Inside at 6'10", 235. Excellent range as a shooter. Better put a body on him in terms of offensive glass work. The Bucks lead by one early. Inside to Belitsa. Well, and, and, and again, it takes high-level IQ players to read and react, to find those openings, and then to understand the, you talk about precision, the precise moment to make the most effective. His last seven triples, two for two tonight. He's back. <laughs> Rex is in effects. <laughs> DiVincenzo, Sterling Brown, Pat Connaughton, Brooke Lopez, and Chris Middleton. An offensive. Now, they know this is a hot basketball team from the outside, and they seem to be dialed in in terms of how to defend them. And a lot of it starts at the point of attack with this guy right here, De'Aaron Fox. And there he is again. Unbelievable. DiVincenzo, what a knack. Can't hit the lane. It's a good deal. Yeah. Maybe. Just over seven minutes, second quarter. Brooke Lopez. You stopped Fox. Eight already. Barnes again for three. Tough matchup. They do you. Offensive end of the floor. Brooke Lopez coming off a season high 23 in Orlando, hitting all five of his three point shots. Tonight he has 16 already and his two. Passing out of a double team cross court. They swing it back to Pat Connaughton, who started all of it with the initial pass. Three pointer, Harrison Barnes. Middleton rolls it across the rim. Aaron Fox. Bogdanovich thought about it. The Kings turn it over. Brown. Good to see him get some of that confidence back. Knock it down four to three. Aaron Fox can't score. Ursan went down. Figure out all day how Parasite could be so successful without a host. <laughs> Darren Fox oh, in why do I laugh? the paint. Every, every time you tell that corny joke, he's finally trying to save the ball on the opposition basket. They wind up throwing it right to the other team for an easy two. He waited to the, the very last minute and found Pat Connaughton. Buddy Heald, 39. The offensive end that they've shown the, the biggest improvement over the last month. The Aaron Fox will shoot two. First lead of the basketball game. Middleton missing at the rim. Fox. Under 30 seconds to play in the second quarter. Our best wishes. Aaron Fox for three. The rebound taken by Sterling Brown. Chris Middleton fading away at distance. That one short. And now Fox works into the middle. And is fouled. Well, that's well defended. Yeah. Oh, it's his first make, 16 points. Harrison Barnes answers a triple. This guy. Chris has 13 points. Oh, that's a nice move and score by De'Aaron Fox. Great hesitation. Bielitsa. De'Aaron Fox. Nothing. 
Najee Smith, Michael Jackson, old Georgetown days, and stopping this team at the point of attack. Go, grab that. Good job on that possession by Don. Knocked out to Buddy Hill. Giving Sacramento 14 more seconds. And a three, De'Aaron Fox. Game time at 77. Darren Fox is 47% from behind the three-point line in the last five games. Be, you know, this is your other, your other, your other choice if you play him too close. Tim, the Bucks 4-0 without Giannis. The point spreads on those four games have ranged from winning by 11 to winning by 26. A couple of them 20-point victories, but in one of the Bucks. Yeah, they've made 18 or more threes in four of their last seven games. So they're a team, again, playing with so much confidence right now in the matchup in their favor. They are exploiting beautifully. I can remember a Sunday night in Portland. He hit a game winner right in front of our position, Clyde Bricks here. Yeah. Kind of that, that flat trajectory, line drive, frozen rope jump shot of his. Would he, like, kick his knees up? How about Dick Barnett? Oh, it's still travel. Dante DiVincenzo able to track. Five on the shot clock. Turnover number 12, tacking the rim. 18 for Bledsoe. Fox on the other end. Bledsoe has it. That's the end of the third. Oh. It's a perfect example of getting MJ with a bowl of cornflakes. <laughs> 22 for Middleton. He has scored his number. Bogdanovich. Uh-oh. Brooke Lopez. <laughs> Dr. J on the two on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Bogdanovich picked up his second foul, by the way. Bielica for three. 12 make. Bledsoe re-enters with 26 points, six rebounds, seven assists. Three made threes. He's been doing everything inside and outside tonight. To set for the next game at Indiana coming up on Wednesday, Jim. All right, Craig, the Bucks trying to win this for Papayanis. A foul. <laughs> Buddy Hill triple. One more for Barnes short. He has gone cold on threes. He was hot in the first half. Blood show. Two minutes. Harrison Barnes five for nine on threes. And now map points of emphasis for this season is making sure that they have the gather terminology and the vision of it properly assessed. Three-pointer Bogdanovich. May or may not play again this year. John Holmes, due back pretty soon, has been a nice find for him.